review MIS that was supposed to be last week, but we oh, yeah. had DPW yeah. and we ran over, remember, and I said we'd go over it this week. Yeah. However, the town manager and Christy are not with us. So we need them to go over MIS. Yeah. So now we're going to have to move that forward one more time if it pleases the committee. Well, who's running the MIS department anyway? Christy. Christy is running. It's under Christy. Yeah, so that's right. why we're going to have to move it forward one more time. And um, I apologize for that. Now, tonight is the last meeting for, um, for the year, January. Yeah, the last meeting of this year. Mm -hmm. And um, then we have a little hectic week in January, Ooh. namely the 5th, the 7th, and the 8th. Whew. Now, that could have been done two ways. We could have had a break. Uh, we could have had a meeting over Christmas, although this meeting room is, is pretty much booked. Yeah. And the dates that were available, like the 23rd, you wouldn't have liked. No, I would expect almost no one to be here on that night. So that's why it got compacted into the 5th, the 7th, and the 8th. And now I'm going to go a little bit further. Those are going to be packed meetings. Okay. So what do you, uh, uh, Eileen, on the 5th and the 7th and the 8th, what do you hope to accomplish? Okay, on the 5th, the 7th, and the 8th, we're going to have to wrap up MIS. Right. Oh, we got to do that on the fifth, yeah. right? And on yeah. the fifth. So let's, well, let me put it on the it fifth. Up. We'll do MIS. MIS. Okay. We'll start out with that, so that we're complete. What about the municipal insurances? Are we? Well, um, that was the second thing we haven't heard on the municipal insurance. Well, that's kind of open. That's still open. Okay. So let me just put down municipal insurance. Uh, when you when you send the communication, can will you include that with? Christian this will all be revised, so okay. you know I'll send it. I'll send it. I mean, we said this verbally last week. They may not have picked up on it, but it keeps us from being able to review it tonight. Yeah. So we'll put it on the third. I mean, it's only yeah. you can do it in about twenty minutes, can't you? On the fifth, you mean? On the the fifth? MIS budget. Um, the IT subcommittee has a few talking points prepared. Um, None that I think will take more than 15 or 20 minutes. I mean, that doesn't include okay. everybody else. I have seven or eight or nine questions. Yeah. Then the other thing I would like to do is I would like to have those three meetings start at 6 o'clock mm -hmm. so that that week we can start to finalize everything. We, we can finalize everything. So what? Uh, when would you start the warrant articles, if you will? I'm going to start the warrant articles. Usually we do the review first. The budget okay. review, you mean? But yeah. this year we're not going to. Okay. Because I think how you look at the Warren articles, because there's so much money baked into the Warren articles, will be how you may look at the budget itself. Okay. So, so I think let's get the Warren articles out of the way. Okay. Although Where? you should be working on the budget now. Oh, yeah. You right. should be going line by line by line by line by line and coming up individually with what you think is you know okay so that Tuesday on the 5th we'll be doing MIS the insurance municipal insurance and we're going to start the warrant and we're going to start the warrant articles. and we're going as far as we can with them and then on Thursday the 7th finish the warrant articles if we can in two well hopefully we'll be able to yeah I don't realize how many there are probably be about 40 of them uh, we only have I 23. I right? don't know that there'll be 40 money articles, though, Mike. And a lot of them, um, like the forfeiture funds and that, that are there every year. They wrote probably uh, 10 of those more articles. Get, how many we received officially so far? 23. 23. And though some of those may be changed and taken out before they we, we get a final packet. So I don't think you'll, uh, you may not be looking at 40, but even at that, there's 10 every year that... We should be able to get them done in we two We should nights. be able to get them done. <coughs> As usual, the there will probably be 10 that we'll be debating about. Mm -hmm. So you'll have them. You've had them already. You know your questions. Yeah. You can, if you have questions about them during this stretch of the next two weeks, you can certainly submit the questions to me, all right, and I'll, I'll send them off to get answers for us, and maybe that will shorten that down. Otherwise, they're not. They don't plan on being here. I mean, would uh, would uh, the department heads be here to to defend their warrant articles? They can come. They can defend it when we do the public hearing. 
but no, when we when we go over the budget itself, no. But I'm sorry for the Warren articles. Yes, they will. They yep. will be here. Yeah. You know, so we'll, they'll have to know which ones we're addressing on which night. Whether the, the on the on, on the That's different true. seven. And once I have the final packet, I okay. will align them. Okay. After this many years, I know which ones we see all the time. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll align them so that we can get rid of quite a few of them. We still have a little bit of time if we needed one more date to go over these, but maybe putting it's an intense week, but maybe that's just the way it has to be, yeah. and we'll all be tuned in, so get your rest through the holiday season. And What is the deadline for the petition Warren articles? 10th, I think. January. It would be in the following week. It's the 12th. So we're not going to have right. petition yeah. Warren out. It's the 12th. Yeah. Okay. Well, so we're going to end up with, we're not going to finish the, the Warren The deadline articles. to submit them. You'll you'll finish them. Trust well, me. Well, no, no, no. I'm just saying there might be someone coming in at the last minute. Yeah. Right. Up till the 12th. So there might be a couple of handful that we'll still have to the address. The ones you see at the end being thrown in there, by now the town should have its foreign articles together. The ones you see that will come in in the last minute are usually private petition exactly. articles. Exactly. They, they, they don't take long. Usually no. Right. Well, They don't take we'll long. And for those of you who are frightened... the case, could we, at the public hearing, could we make that the first order of business if there is any additional? Good. Yeah, no we choice, did, right? we've we done did that. something like we've that before. That so just as a contingency, if we, need be. We have I done know that before. Yeah. Some right. of you who haven't been here before, there's a little bit of fear based on, oh, we've got so many Warren articles. Believe it or not, we had at least one year oh, we had ago a ton of them, and we got we to them all more. in one night. Yeah. yeah, and we did them all in one night. Right. Yeah, but we have a different problem this year. So the point I'm trying to make is some of those Warren articles want to take out the under... Right. They understand right. fund balance, and right now we still don't. we haven't had the details. They've told us what the total is, but not the details of that. We'll have fund it by balance. then. We'll have it by then. I'm but sure. We should have it when we get the uh, cop official copies of the audit. Oh, how many pages did that draft audit? Is that what you're talking about? <coughs> Mike? One minute. I don't know how many pages, but she got a pile of it today, right from Mary Louise. As remember? I get information, I'll disseminate it to you. We'll have it by um, then. Here's the thing. And everybody has their own vote and will decide in their own way. The best instructions I can give you is my rule of thumb I've used through the years. All right. If you have information to make a reliable judgment on how you're going to vote, then you make it. If you don't have enough information, then you're, you've got to be your own guide for that. In the past, I've turned down... Um, or, and, or chosen not to support things because there was no information. One year with the senior center, that we heard about it the very last night. It wasn't that we were in, we were against a senior center, but you can't come in in the eleventh hour and fifty ninth minute and say we'd like money to go rent the space and we don't know any details. I'm glad we didn't do that. And in conscience, I would have loved to have seen a senior center. But based on the details and spending taxpayer money, I had to vote no. So you may be in the same situation this year where you didn't get the information that we've been asking for from the beginning. I will tell you we still do not have the default budget. Right. Nor has the Board of Selectmen passed a default budget that I know of. I don't I I didn't no. get to watch last night, but I don't think they passed. They didn't. And I don't did Phil Bean Ask for the a warn, uh, for He the asked to borrow a few things, but um, the they did not no, do anything last night. Right. We've asked for that publicly at every meeting for the last half a dozen meetings. It will come. I have no idea when. So, Terrible. this is. I mean, look at the school. That was right in all the documents on every page. I know. Yeah. It won't take. It shouldn't take us too long to finalize the school's budget. It seems to me. Oh, That's the school budget was. Nice. We could done. have passed it tonight, as far as this is concerned. Mm -hmm. Well, the, so the final review we'll be doing on the eighth, the Friday. The Friday, unless we get to start it on Thursday. I wholly suspect mm -hmm. if we start those meetings at six o'clock, we will be in the review of the budget. Now, don't remember, we are not going to come in and, and we're not going to sit in here for review, and do line by line. You know. Well, we've already talked lines. everything to death. We're going to do lines, right. all right? We've already Not the sublines. Yeah, we, we did. We've clubbed it to death. Right. You've had carte blanche to ask your questions. Mm -hmm. From what I can see, the questions that were asked and were submitted were answered by the department yep. heads, and we'll thank them for that. They did, and I think they did 
a pretty good job of answering most of them. I think so, All right? too. At this point, if you go back and research, send it to me, <coughs> be aware that I'd probably be active on sending it to me this week, knowing people take their vacation times at this time of the year. I wouldn't doubt that some of the department heads wouldn't be doing the same between Christmas and New Year's, so we've got to give them a little bit of running room. So the January meetings will start at 6 o'clock? Um, uh, yeah, if that's okay with everybody. You, yes. need to, do you need to finalize that with the with the crew yeah, of Channel 22 ask, and then kind of get back to us and email us. The one thing that I spoke to Bill prior to this meeting starting was that he has no crew for Friday that Friday night. He has no crew for he that Friday no night. He has no crew. Nobody has signed up. Um, so you, you're going to have to kind of finalize that with him as well. Then maybe I can work with the schools. Yeah. Uh, we have a guy that can tape it or whatever. That it can at least be taped. Uh, rolling stock, too. What are we going to do that? Well, Mike and I are, within the next 10 days, are going to be at the DBW site. All right. Are you finally got an appointment? Well, uh, no, I've held off, and he's been asking me to come over. Yeah. Okay. Chris Jacobs has, and I, I wanted to talk with Mike tonight. Mm -hmm. So we have a, a cluster of dates. I'm going to represent that to Chris tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write an email. Mm -hmm. And um, Chris can look over the dates and choose the most appropriate date for him. We haven't got a list of the rolling stock at all. It's in your book. It's in the book, I think. It's in your book. Is it in the back? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's in, in your book, and it's okay, thank you. Okay. Um, there is, there has been an open dialogue between the two of you, so yeah. I'll no, leave. I think it's it's been good. I mean, uh, I, I told Chris what we were interested in doing. We're not going to be belaboring anybody over there with budgets and stuff. We're just looking no. at what the warrants are all about, the two million dollar bond article, blah blah blah, mm -hmm. and uh, the equipment, of course, and so on. And then, it's, and, and then, so we can come back and express our sentiment. Mm -hmm. I think Chris did a good job of representing his budget when he was yeah, he was did. in here. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, they're always the sacrificial lamb. Yep. Well, they got the biggest but budget, right? So that's where the money yeah. you know. Do you anticipate more warrant articles coming in that, that you know, between will, now and our meeting? That will there will be, be more warrant articles that will come in, but like I say, 25% yeah. um, of them will be ones that just end up on the ballot every year. But it, it seems it, like the selectmen have, have, have gotten the ones they they want out of their um, well, the department they heads. By now, yeah. And, and we, we've got those 23. Right. What Think you're going to have yeah. is you're going to have two groups of warrant articles. You're going to have ones from the town, mainly the Board of Selectmen, Planning, Zoning, whatever. And then you'll have private petition warrant articles. The private petition warrant articles is from the residents, and they're usually two or three liners. Yeah. So well, we, don't, we don't pass a bond off, do we? Yeah. Not unless they involve money. Any, right. Anything uh, that has a dollar article. sign in it, right. we, we... If it's a dollar uh, sign, we do. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but even though there may be, you know, 50 warrant articles, not all of them will have money in them, right. and not all of them will take really deliberation, because those warrant articles have been here before, and we just <laughs> passed them through. That matrix that I forwarded mm -hmm. to you, could you forward it to the... I didn't share it with anybody else, but I mean, that, that's the one that divides it up and says, here's the 23 articles, but he's coming... I did, did I, yeah, I, I, I just send it, it out. From her. Uh, really? Oh, no, I have it too. Okay, I didn't. I'm I, on okay. the ball with some things. No, no, I just... <laughs> you know, I'm one of those... I, I, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe you maybe just don't want to get yelled maybe at. Maybe because I did it, it didn't come to me. I don't know. <laughs> I just don't want to get yelled at. I know what you're up to. <laughs> it might be. I might have just sent it to everybody else and yeah. I didn't send it so back to you. But if you have any correspondence, don't clog up town hall. Send it to me. Yep. Okay? And I'll direct it and try to keep track of the answers coming back. I don't want to sneak around town hall. That's the message ah, I got. Michael, thank you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, oh, we need to have any purchase orders that were placed in November and December. Okay. Because I don't want to see a doubling up in the operating budget, and they're asking, and they've already bought it in November and December. Okay. Last year, I can remember a couple of items that that happened on. Well, what happens is we've recommended that if they had money left at the end of the year, that some of the things that were on the budget for next year be paid out of this year so they have them and they don't have to wait till March. Right, well... I mean, some of that is genuinely good intentions, and yep. if I keep them waiting, you need it, get I don't it. have a problem with that, but yeah. don't double up on me in the operating Well, budget. exactly. You know, the thought being, you're right, Jerry. If you're buying it now out of the 2015 budget, there's no need to look at it in the 2016 budget. Right, and that'll be an adjustment. 
it will be an adjustment. And we need to know if, in fact, the town is going to readjust its fuel costs. We can't guess. Okay, I mean, I heard something about credit cards and buy at the pump and blah, 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 but I, are they going to come in with an adjusted fuel cost for gasoline, diesel, and diesel? If not, we have to make an adjustment for that. Well, they have given us the gallons per department that they're right. using. They have given us the gallons per department, and which is good. last year we really struggled because when this oil, when the gas started going down, we had no idea where bottom was going to be. And as we're breaking over the two dollar line, well, it's I mean, ninety three down in Seabrook. Yeah, you, I, buy, I filled up that. I line. know, but you know, you got to sit here and go, "Come on, this has got to end up soon." Today in but the, the one thing that we can adjust without playing any mind games are on where the cost of gases, period, is on the tax. We pay the tax on the gas no matter what if, if we're buying it from the state. Well, no, the state price is 264 254 254 And that's supposedly what the tax is taken out. And yeah. right mm -hmm. now, if we buy it for $1.93 at the pump, well, let's just say $2. I'm not sure exactly what the tax amount is, but that's the portion. 42 cents. 42 cents. That can that's come state and federal. Us. So well, actually, we're paying. 20, though, isn't it? Yeah, they're half and half. Forty-two 20. cents. So yeah. now the forty-two cents off a dollar and ninety-three. No, no, it's not forty-two. It's only about half of that for state. But both together. Yeah, but he's, okay. he said both they took taxes. state and. Well, Mike, if you're paying two fifty-four through the state right now. Yeah, and supposedly you have gas at the pump. Let's just say for two. Right. You're effectually paying a dollar sixty, right. and you get abated back right. that forty-two cents I'm tax. I agree. So you're saving a dollar. For every gallon you're buying, just about, and they're working on it. And if you have a hundred thousand, <coughs> if you have a hundred thousand gallons, working on it. Okay, they've got a credit card. They're working on it, working and on it. I think that maybe working on that tax portion. Now Not the, guessing what the gallon dollar amount's going to be. I'm working a little bit on that portion. Yeah. Um, diesel at, at Seabrook was two fifteen a gallon. Two fifteen a gallon. Well, that's yeah. good because we use a lot of diesel. And in this I year. believe he had something like three thirty five or three thirty eight yeah. in yeah. his. What, see, what we need to do is what the oil, uh, the big oil companies are doing. We need to rent a, um, a tanker and put it out offshore <laughs> about 25 miles. Fill it up now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right? Sure. Yeah. It's, it's like house hunters again, okay? There's three options. We just threw that one out. We'll put it right oh, behind right, your house. Right. Well, I'm just throwing ideas out there. there was, All right. Is there it time to other... adjourn? Changes to the budget. Um, the, there were some other changes to the budget that, uh, where they had to go back and add certain uh, amounts to some line items. It's going to be to as we've been waiting for this insurance. Okay, so when uh, would we anticipate them giving it to an updated budget with the insurance in it? We don't know. Okay. Well, we're looking for that update. Of course, they can't give us those figures until they get them. Yep. And, of course, those figures would be changed in the default budget as well as the proposed budget. Yeah. So, yeah. and that's the only thing supposedly holding up the default budget, which is why I'm not understanding why we don't have yeah. the default budget. We're going to be making changes to a, a budget, and, and uh, apparently this, some of those line items have already changed, and, and I don't have, I haven't caught them all in my budget. You, know. you won't. Okay. So what we need from, we have, there has been some changes. So what we actually need um, in addition to the purchase orders is we need an updated copy right now. Updated of copy everything of? Everything that has changed because there were a few, a couple of mistakes. Yeah, they, and they should probably give it to it so that the, the changes appear in red or something so we know where they are. That'd be nice. I mean, if you got a 26-page. Yeah, you know, she doesn't have to recopy the whole thing. She can just give us lines that were changed. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> we don't have to make it out of it. some additions for an additional mm -hmm. election. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well. yeah, that's election that's right. Right. You caught yeah. that. Yeah. Now, yeah. now. She didn't change her request on the salary. I lost track of that. Salaries, I, I know there was, was a request for a little bill. bit over $6,000 for two elections. Correct. But then I heard something in the background, and it may only have been background noise, that the state said it's too late to fill that seat. Oh, really? I don't know. I heard no. From my understanding, no. They're still no. trying to fill it. They're trying yes. to fill it as soon as possible. Um, they don't want to wait, again, this is from my understanding, till the March election. They're trying to get it done. A special in, election. In okay, January, so we're the, sending so out a letter. too late Let's referred to the March election. Yeah. Correct. Not too I think late they're to trying to do a seat. primary and a special election in the month of January, from what I understand. Right. They sent a letter out last Wednesday.
and they were hoping to get a response back. I think they week. want to get everybody. And they were hoping the to get an answer by then. 23rd of December. Okay, they're looking so we for have candidates. to stay on that because if that's yes. what it costs, that's what it costs, and it automatically yeah. has to. Yeah, it's just a line. Another line needs to be updated in the in the in our form here. Mm -hmm. and, and we got conservation. We didn't quite close on that. I mean, you know, there were three funds. We were. No, we haven't got the answers to that yet. We. Eileen, the lad, the lad, whatever her, her last name. Ellen, Ellen. Ellen. Ellen, Ellen right. did give me the information, and I will send it out to you. Okay. That's what we need okay. from that. Um, what happens is she sent it to me, and it has account numbers and that, and we don't want to. Oh, yeah. We don't want to. So, I mean, conservation is just so another. i take it and kind of. It's another. You're going to have to trust me to give you. Well, yeah, you're going to have to trust me to give you a synopsis of it. All right. Mm -hmm. And. Okay that and you'll get to ask questions again on the Warren articles because some there are some things that were going to be requested for specific funds and so I just want to make sure I'm correct in saying that we do anticipate people being here to defend Warren articles if need be they usually do and yep. that they will well, be. I mean if you're if I was any a police or fire or DPW right. I, it would be to my interest well, that's what I would that's in, well, in, in the Warren yeah. article yeah. is discussed where we're splitting up the Warren yeah. articles I'm trusting you're going to inform which we departments won't really need to be know. Here. You won't well, know well they, usually they through. come with it now, they, I mean the way it's always been I mean I, I don't know if I have to go back and tell everybody but usually with the Warren article they, they come in and right. sell it Oh, yeah. Try to sell they it don't it offend it, right, and sell it. Then, okay, uh, that we, but we it's not, not a long, drawn-out process. Yeah. And what I would tell you is, where all the town warrant articles are concerned, it was discussed through the budgets when they came in for their budgets. So when you get them, go back and look at the presentation. There's no need to come in with duplication of yeah. questions. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of the things that. You, if you didn't watch the meeting, then you didn't see it. Yeah. So go back and watch the meeting in your time in the next couple of weeks and um, do it that way mm -hmm. so that there's as few so questions as possible. So we can move along. I mean, some of, the, it's, some of them are not difficult. Some of them have been rolled out. Police and fire pretty much let their cats out of the bag while they yeah. were here. So um, with the schools, you pretty much know what they're going to be asking for. Yeah. They, so. We let them roll out a little bit of that tonight. Speaking of, speaking of moving on... I, you know, this is your time of the night, Stephen. Tonight, I'm going to say, let it, let it go. All right. First of all, I want to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you. And thank you to Channel 22, the crew that's been so wonderful to us all year long. And I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor. Yay. Look at you, man. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas everybody. Get some. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.